hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be following madison beer's vogue beauty secrets video like makeup tutorial So I was watching some of the Vogue Beauty Secrets videos last night because I'm literally obsessed with watching like people do their makeup, especially like celebrities. So I was watching Madison Beer's one and I was like, I have so many of these products. So I've got my laptop here with her video playing. I'm gonna try to follow it as like closely as I can. Obviously I can't do like the whole routine exact because I don't have every single product she has. But I actually have quite a few. I was looking through it and I was like, why do I have a lot of these products? Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you do like this video, make sure to comment because I could do like so many of these because there's like so many videos on the Vogue channel of like people in the makeup there's like Hailey Bieber, Kendall, Kylie Jenner there's like loads that I could copy and I just love sitting down and doing my makeup make sure you like some and comment we're gonna start off with the first step the first thing Madison does is like wash her face with a cleanser oh my god actually first she puts one of these like little headbands in <laughs> I actually don't really like wearing these I feel like it makes me look very odd but mine's gone a bit yellow because it's from Sheen hers looks a bit more clean the next step in my routine is a toner I just got put on this toner my friend uses it and it's the Menage Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. So the first thing Madison uses, which I actually have the exact same product, I think this is like the newer version that they've made, Cream Skin Serapeptide Refiner, and it's like a moisturizing toner. So she just pats on her face and she doesn't use a cotton pad, she just uses it with her hands. And I actually use this every morning anyway, so I'm very happy I get to use this because it's one of my favorite toners because I find it's more like moisturizing than other toners I have. Like the Glow Recipe one I have, I feel like that's more like serum-like, whereas this one's very, it just feels very moisturizing your skin and I also whenever I put it on I feel like I have glass skin after like my skin is so smooth. I feel like most people have one of these. I love it. I don't really know if it works or if it does anything. And then the next thing she goes in and uses is a jade roller. So I'm gonna use mine. I literally never use this anymore. I used to always use my like, I think it's called a gua sha and my jade roller, but I never like reach for them anymore in my skincare routine. She just kind of goes up like down the cheeks because she says her skin gets quite swollen and like puffy. And I actually agree, like in the mornings when you wake up, your skin's very like swollen, like puffed up. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. So use one of these in the morning. It's actually really relaxing. And a similar product is like the ice rollers that you can like put in your fridge, no, your freezer. I love using them in the summer because I find it really cools your face down if, you, if it's like really hot in the day. Next step I do is my moisturizer. And I really like this moisturizer. It's like whipped and it comes out in this really cool, fancy schmancy way. Okay, so next product that she uses is the Drunk Elephant like whipped cream. I actually used to have this product. I still have the packaging, but it's ran out. Like it ran out ages ago. So I have a similar product with like the pumpy lid and it's the bubble moisturizer. So I'm gonna use it because it's kind of similar product for my moisturizer. And I also use this every day. So I just put one little pump on my face. This is quite a different texture actually to the whipped cream. It's more like water-based moisturizer, whereas the whipped cream's a bit more thick. But to be honest, I actually really miss having the whipped cream because that used to be such like a nice moisturizer for like summertime. So yeah, now my skin is looking very glowy from those steps. My favorite facial spray in the entire world. I'm not even gonna try to butcher the name because I'm gonna fail miserably. Okay, and then next thing she uses is a facial spray and she actually uses the Cordelie one, which I actually have in the mini size. But again, it's run out. Like all these products have run out. Like I don't have them anymore. But anyway, funny story. I actually re-bought this and the spray wouldn't work. I've had to throw it away now. Yeah, so the spray wouldn't work so my dad had to like decan it out of the bottle and put it into a plastic bottle so this is actually the cordley spray but it's in like a big bottle i actually do have the product but it's just not in the nice packaging now this spray bottle is broken because it's not spraying guys i'm actually not being serious like it doesn't want me to put this on my face instead of using that i'm gonna go in with another facial spray the glow recipe one so kind of similar thing it's still a facial spray so yeah very similar still like a nice refreshing spray on your face the last step of my skincare routine before we go into the makeup, eye cream, and this makes me feel so fancy because it has this little thingy. Okay, and then the final skincare step she does is use an eye cream. Now, she actually uses the La Mer like eye cream, and I think that might be like 500 pounds. I swear the moisturizer is like a thousand pounds. So, no way in heck am I getting an eye cream for that much, but I have got a similar one, and it actually comes with the same applicator that she uses. So, this is from Yes Style, it's the Marine Cream. So, I'm just gonna put some of that under my eyes, just moisturize it in. Again, this is really relaxing because it's like a metal applicator and it's like cooling under your eyes. Okay, so first of all, she takes off her headband, but I'm gonna keep mine on because I literally cannot do my makeup with like my hair and my face. You really get soap in there. Just brush through. Okay, next step is eyebrows. She actually uses soap brows, so she has like the little soap brow thing with the brush. I used to have one, but I've actually lost it. I used to have like a little elf one, but it's gone. So my only resort is using this got to be glued eyebrow gel, but I'm just gonna brush them up as if it is soap brows. So I'm gonna take a lot of the product and just like apply it through. And then I'm gonna take a 
spoolish shaped them upward as if they were soap brows if you know what I mean I'm not a massive fan of like the really like pushed up ones but I do like them being a bit lifted because I find it like lifts your face a bit I actually prefer this technique I normally just put it through with the brush from the got to be glue I actually prefer using this because it's like cleaner I don't really use foundation technically it's a skin tint is what it's called Okay, the next thing she uses is skin tint over foundation, which I'm so glad she does because I hate, I don't have a foundation, like I don't like really thick makeup. She actually uses the Glossier skin tint, but I've only got the Fenty one, but she actually uses Fenty later in the video, so I know she likes a brand. Well, not no she likes, but from the video. This is the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the shade 5. So I'm just going to put that over my skin like she does. Then she actually blends it in with a beauty blender. I normally use a brush, so it's just a bit different. I actually kind of prefer using a beauty blender. I find with a brush it leaves it a bit streaky but with the beauty blender it like gets all the face like it's really full coverage obviously a skin tint is never going to be like really covering everything but i find it gives your skin a nice evens out your skin tone as well okay so next up is the lord and savior of concealers which is the nars creamy concealer okay next thing is concealer so i only have the dior one but she does use the nars one she actually puts it in a lot more places that i do i normally just put it under my eyes but she puts it on her forehead and her chin so i'm going to put it exactly where she did it so she put a lot of like little streaks under her eyes i normally just do one little streak but i'm gonna do exactly what she's doing and then she kind of puts on her forehead i never understood like putting conceal on your forehead and then she covers her chin up a bit and then she blends in with a beauty blender which is what i do anyway okay so that's all the concealer blended in i go in with the charlotte tilbury i think they're called glow sticks contour wand okay, next up which i actually have the same product of she uses the charlotte tilbury contour wand so i actually love this product i use it all the time anyway so she only put two small dots on like the side of her face she put like three on her forehead and then she actually blended hers in with a beauty blender so same beauty blender it is I normally blend this in with a brush, so it's a bit different for me. So I'm just gonna tap it in. I find a beauty blender picks up more product, but I guess it just doesn't make it as dark. Do my forehead. I actually prefer blending this in with a beauty blender. My favorite product in makeup, period, is blush. This is my favorite blush. Okay, I also have her blush that she uses. So she uses the Sharp Toby one as well, and she puts a lot on. So I'm gonna do exactly what she does and put a lot on my cheeks. I feel like I'm gonna look like clown with all this on yeah and she also blends in with a beauty blender that is a lot i find this one's nice though because it's like a highlighter guys this is gonna turn out so bad there's actually so much blush on my cheeks right now this is the charlotte tilbury powder okay the blush has kind of calmed down now and she uses the charlotte tilbury airbrush powder thing so i'm gonna put she puts it on her eyes and different to what i do she uses a brush which i never do i use my little powder puff again this might be a new like awakening for me to use a brush yeah that's all the powder i'm gonna do i actually really like using the brush so now i'm moving on to my bronzer and i'm using the one and only fenty beauty okay next step is powder bronzer so she actually uses the fenty beauty one but i don't have any of the fenty beauty blushes or bronzers so i'm gonna use the benefit one because it's the only powder one i have and she kind of just like dusts it up her cheeks and on her forehead so i hope this gets rid of some of the blush color that i have right now and i just will get in there and i'll just do a tiny tiny bit on either side next step is nose contour and i literally never contour my nose because i don't have a clue you do it and if i ever do do it i use the charlotte tilbury one but she actually uses her powder bronzer with a thinner brush so she kind of just goes down either side of her nose and then she goes a bit underneath her nose i'm so confused if this is gonna look good or not wait that's actually really nice i've never ever used like a powder bronzer before to do it and it's actually kind of made it kind of look like a shadow so it's not like i've got a product on we're gonna go in with the fenty beauty blush okay and then she goes in with more blush and she uses a powder one this time so again she uses a fenty one but i don't have that one so i'm gonna use my little sharp toby palette and i'm gonna use this color obviously and i'm just gonna dust a bit this is really pigmented though because it makes my face really bright i've used so much blush today guys it actually makes me look like a clown it's not noticeable on camera luckily but in person i look like a tomato the next step is my beloved morphe madison beer palette okay, so the next step that she does which i wasn't sure if i should do this or not because i never ever ever use eyeshadow but she uses her morphe eyeshadow palette which obviously i don't own but <laughs> the bows are stuck up and i do have this little Too faced one that has some colors in so i might actually put a bit on my eyelid i just never ever use i'm not a massive fan of eyeshadow sometimes i put a bit of bronze on my eyelid to like 
bronze it up. Looks quite nice though. It's very like, it's more of a subtle change that you can't really notice. I also love the packaging. It's like a little games like controller. All the colors are actually really pretty. I got it for Christmas. Okay, so the next two steps she does is she does this like inner corner like pencil thing and then a little wing. And I cannot do that for the life of me. And I also don't have any products to do like a wing that would look a good color. So I'm not gonna do that today because I, it'll make it fail and this makeup routine will go awfully wrong. The next step is my highlighter, cream highlighter, which is the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. But the next step after that is cream highlight. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury one again. And she actually puts quite a lot on her cheeks. She puts like a load on. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing she does and put a lot of highlight on to make myself really glowy. And then she takes the same beauty blender and just taps it. I've put a lot on today. I don't actually know we put this much on. And I'm actually using all the minis that I got like two Christmases ago and they've actually lasted me a really long time. A very similar thing to what I just did. But okay, and then she goes in with even more highlight and she uses a little glossier one. But the closest this one I have is this one from Benefit. It's a high beam one. I don't know why she uses so much. I'm going to be literally shining like a star. Perhaps just one in with the fingers. So I'll finish blending it off. Actually, it's created a very nice. Like, look how glowy my cheeks look now. I'm going to go in with my mascara. It's called the Lash Slick by Glossier. Okay, and then she finally does mascara. So she actually uses the Glossier one, which I also have, but guess what? It's ran out. Like, there's none in there. It ran out a while ago. But my mascara is a L'Oreal Telescopic, and it's also like a more of a finer, thinner mascara, so I'll use this one today. I'm, I don't know if she actually curled her lashes, but I cannot. She has like naturally really long lashes, but I need to curl mine to make my mascara look good. I'm just going to take this Sheen Eyelash Curler. I'm actually going to use my little mirror from this palette to do it. Okay, that's one eyelash done. Literally, this mascara is so good. It lengthens them. So now I move on to my highlighter. And so I throw this into the inner corner. And the next step, she goes in with inner corner highlight. So I actually have a few that I could choose from. So I've got one that's in this little palette. I could use my Kylie one, which is a really pretty like gold color. Or I could use my Rare Beauty one, which is a bit broken, but it's a nice little pinky one. But so I think I'm gonna use the Kylie one because I love the gold color in this. Take my little brush again. But she puts it a bit like under her eyes like that. This is my favorite lip liner because it matches my lip tone and I can get away with overlining my lips a lot and it doesn't really show. I also have the Charlotte Tilbury one. I think it's in Pillow Talk that she uses. I actually needs sharpening. But I'm just gonna go underneath. I don't really overline. I just kind of follow the contour of my lips. This lip gloss I found, it's so nice. And I really like to get that Cupid's bow. And then she goes in with a lip oil from Ulta, but I don't have an Ulta obviously here in the UK. I tried to find a similar one in one of my drawers. And this one has a really similar applicator to what she was using. And it's from like Technic, which is like a UK drugstore brand. And I'm just gonna put this. Okay, actually this is a very similar lip combo to what she did before give myself a spray of the same stuff. Okay, and then the last step she does is uses her cordially spray to like, finish it off. Obviously, my cordially spray has to be typical and break, so I can't put my cordially one on. So, because she used the same spray at the start of the video in the end, I'm going to use the same one I use at the start as well, which is my Glow Recipe one. Okay, that is it. I literally love this spray. It's so good. I would normally use my Charlotte Tilbury one, but she didn't use natural setting spray, so I'm not going to use it today. Guys, my hair is so flat right now, it's not doing the makeup justice. But yeah, I'm literally obsessed with this makeup. I also love the little lip combo that she did. But yeah, Guys, let me know if you want more like celebrity Vogue Beauty Secrets inspired videos. So I loved following her makeup routine today. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.